Good evening and welcome to Compliment on Tuesday evening. Let's just take a moment of quiet to calm our hearts and our minds from the day that we've had to help us to concentrate on our Heavenly Father just a little bit better this evening. Let's take that time now. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you, O oh Lord, for you alone, Lord, will make me dwell in safety. O oh God and Spirit, in Jesus the three, from the crown of my head, O oh Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O oh Jesus my King, O oh Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O oh God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me your thoughts, O oh God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin, nor sin's shadow, lie down with me. O oh God of life this night, O oh, darken not to me thy light, O oh, God of life this night. Close not thy gladness to my sight, O oh, God of life this night. Thy door to me, O oh, shut not tight, O oh, God of life this night. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got two little bits of scripture tonight and they're both from one Peter. No, they're not, they're from 2 Peter. <laughs> 2 Peter 1 verse 8 is the first one. If you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the evening hours, when all is quiet, the thought may drift across your mind. How do I know? that Jesus is really having an impact on my life. Peter taught that there are certain qualities that indicate that you are growing to be more like Jesus. And you achieve them by praying, studying the Bible and imitating Jesus' example. Faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, kindness and love all demonstrate that Jesus is actively transforming you. Knowing that you are growing is important. So keep adding these qualities to your character. Jesus is shaping you. 2 Peter 3 verse 18 says, let the wonderful kindness and understanding that comes from our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, help you to keep on growing. Praise Jesus now and forever. And let's have a short prayer as we move into a time of quiet. 
Maybe a time to think about how you're growing or maybe to ask God about how you're growing. Dear God, I do want to be more like Jesus. Please help me to add these qualities through prayer, Bible study and imitating your example. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler, Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine tonight. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight. I pray that you have a good rest. Take care of yourselves. God bless.